have made the worst mistake of my life. Fancy a vacation to North Korea? No problem. But before you pack your bags and book a ticket, there are a couple of things you should know about this peculiar country. While the allure of the landscape and the serenity of the scenes you probably saw on the tourism website may have attracted you to take this vacation, there are some tiny details about North Korea that you should keep in mind as you embark on this adventure. From the strange ban on blue jeans, yes, you heard that right, to the restrictions on foreign media, here are 15 things you didn't know about North Korea. Let's dig in. Number 15. Heavy censorship on international media. As you may have already known, unless you live under a rock, North Korea is one of the most restricted locations in the world. But how far does this restriction really go? Well, you should consider the fact that the totalitarian government is in charge of everything in the hermit state. Yes, every single thing. In a bid to keep its citizens in perpetual subjugation, North Korea heavily controls what they watch, listen to, or read. It gets worse when you realize that access to international media is literally a taboo in the country. Thinking of posting that captivating picture you just took on Instagram? Think again. Because social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and X don't work in North Korea. This is because the government is scared that if the citizens are exposed to the news and information from the outside world, they might lead a revolt against the government. So, Kim Jong-un maintains his iron grip on the level of information that can be shared with the general public. So, what's the worst that can happen when you illegally access international media and social media platforms while in North Korea? Well, you should prepare for the worst, as punishment can range from a simple slap on the wrists to outright imprisonment way to rethink that vacation, right? Number 14. Hotel of Doom. Sounds like a cool name for a Halloween-themed destination, right? No, not really. There are no candies or ghoul decorations here. Instead, you experience a sense of eeriness that will send chills down your spine. Is it a haunted place full of paranormal activities? Unfortunately, nope. What you are looking at is the Ryu Gyeong Hotel, located in Pyongyang, North Korea. Now, this building is definitely unmissable, as it easily dominates the skyline, standing at some 1,000 feet tall. Known as the tallest building in North Korea, this massive piece of architecture was the brainchild of the South Korean leadership, as a response to the construction of the world's tallest hotel, the Weston Stamford Hotel in Singapore in 1986, by the South Korean company Sang Yong Group. Not one to be outdone by its rivals, the South Korean government began work on the Ryogyong Hotel in 1987, but since then, the hotel has never been completed. The 105 stories remain empty and uncompleted, earning it the nickname Hotel of Doom. The exterior of the hotel, however, presents a fascinating view and has been outfitted with LED screens used for advertisements. At least they got something out of it. Number 13. The Yuchi Calendar While you plan your dream destination to North Korea, you should note that it is practically impossible to travel to the Hermit Kingdom in 2023 or whatever year you're watching this video. This is because North Korea does not use the same calendar as the rest of the world. Now, you probably didn't know that. You're welcome. Let us introduce you to the Juche Calendar the unique system of year numbering developed by North Korea after its most fundamental ideology juchi. But this calendar is not as unique as it may seem, as it essentially follows the Gregorian calendar, but with a little twist. This strange calendar was patterned after the life of Kim the Tun Sung, the founder of North Korea, whose birth year 1912 was designated the beginning of the calendar, or Yuche-1. So 2023 on the Yuche calendar is probably 111, if the math is correct. But that's not the weirdest part of this calendar. It also features public holidays that are not celebrated by the rest of the world. This includes the Day of the Sun, which falls on April 15th of every year, and commemorates the birthday of the founder and first leader of the country, Kim Tu-sung. Number 12. 
the world's largest stadium. Have you ever wondered how North Korea is able to host so many massive rallies and events? Well, wonder no more. Introducing the Run Grotto, first of May Stadium, a multi-purpose stadium, sitting on a vast expanse of land, measuring up to 51 acres of land on Rungra Island, Pyongyang, North Korea. As is customary with the North Korean government, building massive infrastructure is a major priority. These architectural masterpieces convince the world that the North Koreans live in a prosperous society, but at the end of the day, it's all propaganda. This stadium, however, is a real marvel to behold. With its capacity of 150,000 spectators, the Run Grotto 1st of May Stadium is the largest stadium in the world by capacity. The design itself is marvelous. Feast your eyes on the roof shaped in the semblance of a magnolia blossom. This massive investment has seen its fair share of parades and propaganda shows. You might want to visit the facility on your trip. Who knows you might be lucky to catch a glimpse of Kim Jong-un himself on one of his public appearances. Number 11. Strict Haircut Rules As you may have already guessed, the North Korean totalitarian government is very much interested in interfering with every single aspect of the average North Korean citizen's lifestyle. This includes the hairstyles. In this hermit state, you just can't spawn any hairstyle you want that's against the law. Weird, right? Not too weird for Kim Jong-un. But don't be alarmed, there are 28 hairstyles approved by the government for men and women, while other hairstyles are strictly prohibited. Hair dye is also prohibited, and of course, you can decide to look exactly like Kim Jong-un. He really loves it when you do that. Long hair by men is especially frowned upon, so you might want to say goodbye to your mullet before you exit the airport. Number 10. The Pyongyang Metro System One thing you will notice as you travel through North Korea is that the government spends lots and lots of money to build infrastructure. Introducing the Pyongyang Metro System This advanced transit system located in the capital of North Korea has two lines with 17 stations. In total, it is estimated that between 300,000 and 700,000 people ride the metro system every single day. But that's not the most interesting thing about this metro system. As a matter of fact, the reason the Pyongyang Metro is on this list is not because of its beauty or advanced technology. What fascinates us is why the government decided to build a metro system 360 feet underground. This is not just some secret train. That's only used by the supreme leader. No, this one is actually available to the general public. Doesn't this just make your sixth sense tingle? Well, before you put on your conspiracy theorist hat, here's a simple explanation. According to the authorities, the tunnel was built so deep into the ground because not only is this a train system, but it also serves as a bomb shelter. Now, you are probably well aware of the tension that constantly exists between North Korea, its neighbors, and some big names around the world. So, what do you do when your country is constantly on the brink of a nuclear holocaust? You build the deepest metro in the world to serve as a massive bunker so they don't make another Hiroshima or Nagasaki out of you. Hopefully, you can include this on your bucket list of places to visit while you're in North Korea. Number 9. No Blue Jeans Okay. Admittedly, some of these facts about North Korea have been more interesting than they are strange. But what's with the ban on blue jeans? While this may sound like we're trolling, it is in fact very true. The North Korean government placed a ban on wearing blue jeans as it symbolizes American imperialism, as opposed to the ideals promoted by the government. It would be interesting to learn the sequence of events that led to the introduction of this strange rule, because why would anyone hold a grudge against a clothing item so much so as to make it illegal? Many people believe the no blue jeans rule is another attempt by the North Korean government to limit the level of self-expression it allows its citizens. So, make sure you check your luggage well as you pack so you don't land in trouble with the authorities on your trip to North Korea. Number 8. Bad Electricity Supply When was the last time there was a blackout in your city? Now, 
If you live in a developed society like the USA or European countries, your answer will definitely be different from the North Korean citizens. Over here in the Hermit Kingdom, electricity is a privilege. According to the 2019 CIA World Factbook, only 26% of the North Korean population has access to electricity. Think about that for a second. While Kim Jong-un would have the world believe that he is running one of the most advanced countries in the world, in reality, the North Koreans are going through a terrible energy crisis, which is a testament to the economic hardship experienced by the average citizen on a daily basis. It gets even worse. Of the 26% who have access to electricity, many of them have to get by with just two hours of electricity supply per day, as much priority is given to the manufacturing plants and other industries. Blackouts are so common that they have become a lifestyle. Number 7. Public Executions If you thought bad electricity supply was the worst problem faced by the North Korean people, think again. Did you know that capital punishment in North Korea is very much prevalent and can even be considered for the most trivial of offenses? Here's an example. Recently, the North Korean government publicly executed nine individuals in the presence of some 25,000 people. This chilling event took place at the airport in Hyesan, North Korea. These audiences were forced to watch as the firing squad delivered the final judgment of the special military tribunal. But what exactly were the offenses of these nine people? Were they terrorists? Did they attempt a coup? Were they serial killers? Unfortunately, these nine individuals were punished for the simple crime of smuggling beef. This terrifying occurrence should provide you a glimpse into how bad the North Koreans have it and how they are constantly being bullied into silence by their own government. People have been sentenced to death for crimes even simpler than the above stated. We've heard cases where teenagers are sentenced to death for watching or distributing K-pop and other entertainment materials and movies from foreign sources. These executions often happen publicly in the presence of a forced live audience so as to serve as a deterrent to those who are planning to engage in the same or other crimes in the future. Number 6. Three Generations of Punishment Do you want to know something even more chilling? North Korea employs a law known as the Three Generations of Punishment. What this means is that if a person is caught in a grave offense, the offender is required to suffer the consequences of his actions along with the rest of his family. The law expressly states that the children and grandchildren of the offender must also be punished alongside the culprit. This is to ensure that the trail of offense is totally ended and so that the rest of the lineage will not eventually rise and take up arms against the government. But that's not all. Children who are born in prisons are usually born into a prison sentence. They serve their own terms because, apparently, their blood is guilty. What a terrifying existence living in the Hermit Kingdom, where you never know when you might end up in jail for crimes committed by your parents or grandparents, for that matter. Number 5. You can't leave. At this point in this video, you're probably wondering, hey, if the situation is so bad, why don't the people just leave? Well, it's really not that simple. You see, traveling out of North Korea is a very arduous task. While there are no official restrictions preventing North Koreans from taking trips out of the country, the process is usually extremely stressful and visas can be denied for the flimsiest of reasons. Escaping to neighboring countries like China also carries a significant risk because if you're caught and returned, you may be facing some of the most severe penalties available. Travel within North Korea is also very restricted, and you might find yourself seeking several permissions before exiting one locale to enter another. Number 4. Religious Freedom If you read through the Constitution of the North Korean Republic, you will find that it makes adequate provisions for religious freedom. But is this indeed the reality, or just another facade to make it seem to the international community, as though all is well with the citizens? Unfortunately, religious freedom in this communist nation is almost non-existent. Kim Jong-un's government believes that if they give the ordinary man the level of religious freedom that he deserves as a matter of common decency, 
it has the potential to draw in foreign forces or harm the states. Due to the fact that North Korea is an atheist state, religions like Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and many other religions are banned, and engaging in religious activities may attract severe punishment including arrest, imprisonment, torture, and even execution. One can only wonder what drives a nation to bind its own people with so many chains. Number 3. The Free Village Welcome to Ki Jongdong, one of the two villages located in the demilitarized zone between South and North Korea. Observe its serene environment and the beautiful infrastructure that dot this area. But as you look in closely, you may begin to notice that the streets are almost empty, and the houses, though beautifully adorned from the outside, are also totally empty. Now, Kim Jong-un would have you believe that this village contains some 200 family collective farms, is serviced by a childcare center, and contains essential facilities like schools and hospitals. But it's all lies. According to observers from the South Korean border, the village was built in the 1950s, in a bid to attract defectors from the south side, and has since remained largely uninhabited, except for the soldiers who guard the tension zone. But Kim Jong-un doesn't care. In a bid to keep displaying a picture-perfect image of his beloved nation, the houses and streets of this ghost village get lit every single night. Unless you were told, you wouldn't really believe nobody lives here. Number 2. Access Computers For a country as developed as North Korea, getting a computer should be a breeze, right? Wrong. You should know that before you can legally own a personal computer in this country, you have to receive permission from the local government. All computers are also required to be registered with the police as though they were shotguns. But that's not all. Owning a personal fax machine is also very illegal and can attract huge punishments if you're caught. Accessing the internet within this country is also a different ballgame. Although North Koreans enjoy a good internet supply, it isn't exactly the same kind most of us in the outside world enjoy. Let's call it a kind of intranet, where the government closely monitors what everyone is doing and you can't see or do more than they want you to. Pretty creepy right? Number one, food insecurity. What's more important to a nation than feeding its citizens? Unfortunately, the priorities of the North Korean government have been misguided for many years. Kim Jong-un and his cabinet of yes-men prefer to spend money, developing weapons, and building useless infrastructure, while the agricultural sector experiences a sharp decline. Food is very scarce in North Korea. Fields are not yielding as they used to, and farmers are very frustrated. A visit to the countryside will show you what the lives of the ordinary North Koreans looks like, beyond the facade Kim Jong-un likes to portray in the media. As you plan your extensive vacation to North Korea, make sure to keep all these facts in mind, and of course, have fun on your trip. Thanks for watching. While you are here, click the video on the screen to watch more amazing content.